Hey y'all, welcome back to my blue. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ari and I'm back with another video. So I'm dying my hair today. And as y'all can see, my hair is not ginger anymore, which it was ginger. It was kind of like this color. This is the exact dye I had it. And it just fades because this is not permanent hair dye. It's semi it's semi-permanent. So today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair back ginger but with a skunk stripe and this is the color i'm going to be using for the stripe is going to be blonde so to accomplish that first let me tell y'all the backstory of my hair not the whole backstory but the backstory you know so basically before i had my hair dyed ginger it was ombre it was black to blonde and that's why my ends are kind of blonde now because when the semi-permanent cajun spice which ginger you know what i call it um when it fades it's gonna fade back to my blonde but as y'all can see this part is still dark i used this box dye box dye is more permanent than this type of dye so i used the box dye on my roots so i can get them ginger to match my ends mm, because i didn't want to like bleach my roots and then dye them like that's just gonna be doing too much damage so what i have to do is First, I need to section off this part from my skunk stripe, and then I need to use color remover and remove all the color from the stripe. And then I'm gonna put the blonde hair dye on top of it, and hopefully that works. So I'm gonna come back when I've sectioned off my hair, and I'm gonna explain the section just in case y'all wanna do it. And uh, y'all, and y'all are looking for a tutorial. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly where to part your hair and stuff. So I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. Dang, I don't know how to talk. So y'all, this is the section I got right here. It's not directly in the middle, but it's like towards the side. And then I put it right here and then it stops like back there. So next I just need to mix up the color remover concoction. And yeah, it says you have to shake it to the bottom of the packet and then cut and I got to get a bowl mm, and some water. You either mix it with water or developer. I didn't get no developer. So, I'm gonna come back, y'all. So basically, for the color remover, you just pour it in here and then you put like two ounces of water, which I'm not gonna measure. I'm just going to pour in the water till it gets to a good consistency. And I'm pouring it from my spray bottle because it's just water in here and I don't feel like getting up. So, oh my God, I think that was too much. That's so pathetic. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wear gloves with this. Hopefully not, because I don't have no gloves. It's gloves in this box dye container, but I want to use the gloves from the box dye thing when I need to dye, use the box dye. So before I begin putting this color remover on my hair, I'm going to fix this ponytail, make sure my part is even so I'm not putting it on the wrong spot. <laughs> to go off i'm about to rinse this out and then what i'm gonna do is put the blonde hair dye on my roots and then on this whole section but i'm gonna do this whole section first then put it on my roots last and then i am going to um dye this whole section ginger slash orange and then this is gonna be blonde Okay, so y'all, it doesn't look like it did anything, but as y'all can see, it's blonde right here, and then it's lighter right here. But it's not really supposed to make a big difference because the only thing, I mean, what was I gonna say? Because the only diff, the only difference it was supposed to make is that it was supposed to get rid of the red that I had up here. It was like reddish orange, and it's pretty much gone. So now we can get into 
the blonde dye, which I'm nervous. I'm very nervous about this. So you guys, this is how this is looking. I love it so far. Um, I put it with it on the color, the blonde color on my roots and whatever. So they can turn blonde so that when I dye it orange, well, ginger is all ginger. So I already knew this part wasn't gonna get as light as I wanted it to unless I bleach it. But it's okay because as long as the front is light, I'm fine with it. So, <clears throat> Cause I don't want to bleach my hair, so I already knew that was gonna happen. But I'm about to rinse out the blonde dye, and then I'm going to start with the um ginger. So I mixed sun sunrise orange and Cajun spice. And the only reason I mixed it is because usually I use Cajun spice, and I don't like how really like how dark it is and how red it is. So I add added some of this orange so i'm gonna be back after i rinse my hair and i'm about to put in the rest so y'all i started putting the color on i got this part sectioned off so yes <laughs> curled but curled fail but 
basically um after the last clip i think i washed it with regular shampoo and then i put um my conditioner let it sit for just a little rinse out and then i deep conditioned my hair and there's no damage whatsoever and i love it like literally i was very skeptical because i didn't think it was gonna come out right but it literally came out perfectly perfectly and if you want to do your hair exactly like this um just do everything i did um if you have any questions let me know down below um hopefully my comments are on because youtube likes to turn them off and i really appreciate every single one of you guys for watching and if you're watching please subscribe it only takes a second and it will help me out a lot comments help me out a lot like anything encouragement helps me out a lot like everything all that helps me out so i really appreciate you guys like comment like out of anything out of the subscribing and the liking commenting helps me the most but i love you guys so 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 much and if you ever need to vent or anything like on instagram let me know just dm me and i will listen to your whole problems no matter how long it takes but have a good day night whatever